Howdy folks and greetings from the Goblin. Back in Subnautica again, I'm sorry that I took such a long break. Holidays came up and it was a bit crazy, but you know, what can you do? We're back right into it. Surviving and, uh, well, we're not gonna be surviving now. We're about to prosper. I was told that in order to get magnetite, we've gotta go to the pink mushroom forest. I'm not entirely sure where that is, I could look it up, but, uh, we all know I'm not gonna do that because that involves reading. Alright then, so be it. I will venture these sorry fish. I shall brave these waters in search of better lands in order to colonize. Hmm, maybe not the way to say that. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we cruise around and get towards the back of the ship and start going off in that direction. I haven't actually been that way because I was afraid. I once was a child, intimidated by the prospect of coming in contact with the thing known as the Reaper. And then I became the Reaper of the Reaper. I am Reaper Squared. You know when you put a watermelon inside a glass case you can grow a square melon? It's basically how I was born. I better hope that they let me cuss again, because this is not going to be good. Is this a safe zone, or is this the zone of which we don't want to be? It seems that I'm venturing into the unknown once again. Oh well, this is exactly what I signed up for. Actually, I don't know what it was. I, I could have been the janitor aboard the ship, I have no idea. Uh, I was probably the janitor. Actually, I was probably the janitor's assistant, first day on the job. I don't even know how to work a mop, but somehow I built the submarine. Do you like it? It leaks. A lot. Oop, I think I bumped my butt. I bumped my screw on the back of the, on the sand bar there, which it's not new, getting a sandy screw. Oh, just par for the course around here in these parts. If you're new, welcome. I'm, I'm sorry I usually don't do so many voices, except this time I am, because I have no idea how to make this entertaining, because I am very lost. And I'm walking in circles. Well, uh, floating in cir uh, piloting? Er, uh, floating? Uh, mechanically swimming? Sorry for that burp, that just kind of crept out of me. Crapped out of me, crept out of me, one of the two. I can't remember if we were in here before. We were not. I found out that the air bladder that you can make at the beginning of the game actually rockets you up with the force of a thousand gods now. So, it's actually very useful beyond just giving you 15 seconds of air. I might, uh, show you around sometime. I could've got around that the entire- Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna explore every avenue that I can. God damn it, I'm an explorer, and this is my expedition. Ghosts. Oh god, I can't- What the hell is happening? Alright. So, sea ghosts. <sighs> Out. Out. Oh, now it's stuck on the ceiling. You know, there's a reason why I have walls surrounding me and why there's oxygen in here and not water. It's because some of us respect physics, you floppy- Oh! I do believe we've attracted some unwanted guests. And like unwanted guests in real life, I'm simply going to pretend that I didn't hear the knocking at the door, and I'm going to keep moving on. Okay, I'm grabbing everything I don't need. Why am I doing this? Ah, preparations for the future. I need to prep myself in preparation for being prepared. Yeah, you know what? Wow, this is great A commentary coming from me. I'm very proud of myself. Very good, me. You've, uh, you've definitely learned after 40 episodes. Actually, I think that this is the 40th episode. In which case, good job, me, but you're still dumb. <laughs> Okay, that burp was uh, equal parts gross and equal parts uh, something new. That was an expedition of my mouth. My bowels, actually. I'm tasting... Oh, yeah, nope, it's gross. Two shocks, but one is bigger than the other one, which means that that type of shock is worse than the other shock. That's just science. The bigger the shock, the worse it is, unless it's a whale shock. That is the only kind of shark you'll ever hear me say that about, so uh, don't get too used to it. Otherwise, I'm completely terrified. Sure, I know they're absolutely amazing for the ecosystem, and just like wolves, they play a part as a predator. But unlike wolves, they they, they don't look cute to me. They look nightmarish. That's why I have galeophobia. I can't even hold a book that has sharks on them without curling my fingers away from the edge and trying not to uh, yeah, ink spell myself into it. We're gonna push into unknown territory because it's big, scary, spooky out here. Oh, I didn't mean to go that high. I almost said tall. Didn't mean to go that tall. Well, no, because I'm not actually physically changing my height, so I can't say that. Oh, oh. I constantly get into arguments with myself, and I always lose. 
How many of these do- only three H2O? I'm gonna have to eat a whole tree! Again. Okay, maybe I lied. I didn't eat a tree. Alright, listen. I know that- I know if uh, I didn't say something, someone's gonna make a video about that. I mean, like, Snoop Goblin lied to his viewers back in 2023 about eating a tree. Yeah, I didn't eat the tree. <laughs> Entirely. I ate some of it. <laughs> So, I don't know if I put this in the video or not yet, but once we hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing a live stream. I'm not sure what game we'll play. Probably Skyrim. Maybe Sea of Thieves. Something along those lines. And, uh, yeah, it'll just, we'll make a day out of it. How about that? For those of you in the comments asking what exactly is my game plan here, uh, it should be clear by now I don't have one. I've never actually beaten this game before. I want to, and that's the main goal of this, but this is probably going to be a long burn series because, uh, one... I'm terrified of the ocean, so I make very small baby steps towards progress, and two, my sense of direction is abysmal. Oh god, I'm leaking. Selsafane, I'm leaking over here. I feel like a king of the ocean in this thing. I can't wait to get more upgrades for it though, and I really need to get the magnetite for the sonar upgrade, because that will allow us to see threats way in advance compared to this tiny little bing bing. I guess that's technically sonar too, but I'm going to call it the tiny bing bing because it goes tiny bing. Tana Bing. Can you hear my Tana Bing? I'm trying to sing my Tana. Whoa. You know, I never took a training course on how to properly pilot a submarine, alright? So you can't get too upset with me when I run it into the bottom of the ocean, which sounds like a very hard thing to do, but it really isn't when you start filling your ballast tanks way too quickly. Who's the captain aboard this ship? When I tell you to fill the ballast tanks, I mean I want them from 0 to 100 filled. There's no in-betweens here. That's why we're called the Radical Rascals, which probably doesn't sound very PC or appropriate, but I can tell you right now, it literally only means that uh, we go from 0 to 100 real fast in terms of ballast fullness. There's no other connotations to that. Them be bone sharks. Kinda wanna hit him. Oh no, he doesn't see. He doesn't see. Um, launch. Ooh. Okay, how do I get out of this situation? I know that sounds like a really stupid thing to be asking now. God, oh God, oh God. Come on, decoy. I need you to cover my butt because I, uh, 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 I can't say that word. I, I, I'm running into the unknown. I, I just went deeper into the unknown. That got me away Warning. from- entering ecological dead zone. Adding report to databank. Oh, fantastic. That's uh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear, Space Mom. Thank you. Wait, wait. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, there actually is a fire. Ow. Listen to me, listen to me. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. We m no, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. I know there's a fire detected, but can you give me two seconds here? I'm uh, trying to, how do I launch this thing without going into the sub menu? Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, we're about 50%. Uh, we're gonna move. I can't see. We need to surface right now, right giggity bibbidi now. Okay, yeah, emergency speed. Excessive noise. I know it's making excessive noise, that's part of the plan. I know there's a fire, come on, you just work with me here, you're sitting at 25%, we've got this in the bag. Do not panic, we're at 100 meters. Okay, just, just keep the engines running at least a little bit faster. 40 meters, rising, getting out of the ecological dead zone, moving as quickly as possible, we are flying. Okay, please stop making it. Just use your oxygen thingy. Your oxygen tank. Did, was that it? Okay, okay. Extinguished. Yes, initiated. Thank you. We're not out of it yet. I'm gonna have to pull us in a little bit closer towards us. Uh, yeah, I. You don't have to tell me. Trust me. When I went out there, it was like being on a slip and slide, and I was eight years old again. Meaning it was very awkward and I just did, I did not belong there. Like I don't belong at the helm right now. That was piss poor management. Listen, I know that I'm supposed to be positive and just reinforce, you know, like all the things that we did right in that, you know, but I, I've got to say. 
I could have handled that so much. B oh my god, please no. I didn't reload the decoy tube. Oh god. Come on, baby. Yeah, well, you can eat my dust. That's not dust, that's metal fragments from, from the engine blowing out my back side. But you should see the other guy. He got away scot free. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Davey. I'll make repairs to you, man. I didn't run away. I fought every urge to do so, and we kept Davey alive. We are going to need to outfit this guy with some serious armor, maybe some defensive measures. Trimpin', you okay? I see you tried to relocate a little bit again. Yeah, you tried to hide from that one. I don't blame you, buddy. Now we know more about the mechanics about running and operating the Cyclops. Meaning, fire's no good. I know I, it shouldn't have taken a giant sea monster to teach me that, but you would be surprised. I was the worst student in school. You're probably thinking, oh, that's pretty normal for goblins, right? No. No, most goblins that are at a third grade level. I'm, uh, preschool. That stressed me out so bad. I need to relax a little bit. That's right, I'm gonna go down and grab some sweet jerky snacks full of sweet succulent water. And while I go around capturing old bladderfish for my sad amusement, I think it's time that we talk about something very important to me. This episode of Snoop Goblin brought to you by Dirkly Secondhand Tires. Do you need a new car but not the chassis or the engine or the electrical components? Well, sounds like you're in the market for tires then. Dirkly's has the greatest selection of used tires this side of the galaxy. Whichever side you might be on. All the sides, any of the sides, up, down, all around Dirkly's Secondhand Tires. Dirkly's is the only tire shop with a smiling money guarantee. What is that? Well, if you gotta ask, then that means you're not shopping smart. When you drop a penny down into those treads, Dirkly's guarantees that you'll see that long dead president's smiling face each and every time. Time. And when your money's smiling, it's happy. And when it's happy, you're going to be happy. So shop where you'll see your money smiling. Shop Dirkley's Secondhand Tires. We'll leave the garage door open for you. Just don't drive too quick on that ice now. Winky face. I don't have a webcam. Uh, I, can't, I can't. I'm winking at you. I'm, I'm winking. I'm winking at all of you. <laughs> that's, so, that's so dumb. By the way, for those of you wondering if that was an actual sponsorship, that uh, that, that was not. I hope you could tell. <laughs> if you thought it was real, then, well. <laughs> Ooh, you and I have a lot more in common than uh, you ever want to be in common. That's <laughs> eh, pretty good right there. See, we're growing, we're making things, it's happening. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw, Salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Okay, you said roaches inside that sentence. I do not appreciate anything you just said, see, Mom? I'm a big, soft baby. Especially when it comes to things like uh, bugs. I do not like bugs. I, oh, fee fi fo fum I mean, I'll still eat crab and lobster, but it takes more work to get me to do it than it would normally take for anything else. Yes, that was your knife. Did you like it? I thought it was neat. Probably can't show that on YouTube, though. At least not too much. They might get spooked. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna have to probably go about stabbing. Oh, yep, he's right by one of the rubies that I need. Mess with me and you get shanked in the, in the, in the knee if you have a knee. Well, I mean, you don't even really need a knee for me to shank you. I'll just, I'll do it anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, what was that? Did you miss? Ow, I'm gonna take a little bit of a band-aid package and put that on my nipple. So I need four of you, and the other two are gonna make more babies. Seed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. See, Mom. You know, if it was her aboard the Aqua Spur, probably would have abandoned ship, but, you know, we're gonna keep that between you and I. Fire suppression. No more fire. Wait, does what? Increases the capacity of the Cyclops decoy loading tube. Oh, so we can have multiple shots in order to get through tight, sticky situations. I've been harking on you, you environmentally friendly torpedo, but you got me out of a sticky situation. So, you and all your phallic-shaped goodness, I'm gonna say I appreciate you. That's the only time I'm gonna say it. Even if we get attacked again and you save my life, you only get one because you're environmentally friendly. It's time to find the pink, mushy forest. Just need to get some magnetite. Once we get that magnetite, we'll be able to make the sonar upgrade and we'll be able to see uh, decently ahead. I think there's four entrances to find the jelly shrooms and I don't know where a single one is. So, looks like we're gonna be wandering for a little bit. 
Ooh, I wish I would have listened to Space Mom, because Space Mom told me, hey, this has an underground cave system if you want to check it out. And I was just like, hmm, yeah. No tanky. And now I'm kicking myself because that was the entrance to where we need to go. You know, I would ask if there's any clownfish around here, but I think there's only one clown in this ocean and it's me right now. How can I not find this cave entrance? Disco, come on, man. You're not that blind. Hey, that worked, actually. <laughs> Just punched the fish. I'm very glad that this is a video game and not real life. Oh, that would have been a bad situation. Well, I guess if this was real life, I wouldn't be able to get back into the suit anyways. It would have been flooded. Oh, well, whatever. Who's questioning things? Not me. I'm getting way too good at punching wildlife. Oh, that's how you activate the fire suppression system. It's not by itself. Well, I wish that would have been automated. You know, you're probably like, oh, it's just a button. Come on, Snoob. Yeah, but, I mean, come on. Even that is a lot to ask of me. You saw how the last crisis went. I almost got us sunk because I panicked. Panic is my natural reaction state to anything that isn't normal. What is normal? I don't even know. So I'm constantly panicking. I live in a constant state of anxiety and fear. My heart rate... It's racing right now. It's like NASCAR, it's going in a big circle. Which is not good, because I think hearts are supposed to remain stationary except for the thumping. Or pumping? Eh, I mean, they thump when they pump. And on we go. I think I actually found it. I think I literally was on top of it the entire time. I just... Okay, well... Yes, because those are jelly shrooms. Oh, God. Um, you know, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know if we can actually get the the good boy down here. Oh yeah, because that is way too deep. We might have to get the Seamoth. Oh yeah, these jets are not powerful enough to get us back out of this. Ooh. What do you think about changing the shrimpin's colors to match the color scheme of the channel, like the Aquaspur in the Mini Snoob? I'll leave that up to you guys. Go ahead and leave your votes in the comment section, I guess. Whoa, okay, there's a base down here. I never even knew that was a thing. I know what we're doing immediately. Oh no, a new phallic-shaped nightmare has entered the chat. Water filtration machine? <gasps> Is this what I've been looking for all my life? Drooping stinger? Hey, that was my nickname. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop myself before I say that one. <laughs> Lots of it. I need a good amount. That is adorable. It is a eyeball that swims. Like the peep, except just just one instead of... Wait a minute, do the peeps have one big eye or is it like two big eyes? I'm in a situation where I've got to use my brain and I'm trying to talk while using my brain and... <gasps> magnetite? Oh man, we're going to load up on magnetite right now. Doing good. This is a great haul. Holy moly. Thank you, Davey. I had one hell of a trip, man. I would love to tell you about it, but right now we've got work to do, buddy. Did you keep the engine running for me? You did. Can we take a shortcut through the safe shallows in the Cyclops? Uh... You know what, we're gonna take a little bit of a long way, why not? We like to adventure and journey together as we tell stories, don't we? Yeah, you want me to take the shortcut? Alright, I'll take the shortcut, let's just beeline straight for it. If I want to make sure that we don't lose Davy like we almost did at the beginning of the episode, then I have to make sure that I have preventative measures in place. Which starts with sonar. So what do we need for that? A computer chip. Oh god. A computer chip? Oh, you're giving me the power of sight. I have the power. Uh, right there, then. Fine, it's fine. I'll make do. Okay. We're not just surviving, we're prospering. And you know what? To celebrate, we're going to make an underwater mansion. Next time. I want to thank all of you who made it this far with me. You've been a wonderful guest, and I do hope to see you again. I've been Snoob Goblin, and I'll see you all. On the flip side, we'll venture these sorry fish. Josephine, I'm liking over here. <laughs> a new phallic shaped nightmare has entered the chat. I constantly get into arguments with myself, and I always lose. <laughs>